Matt Broadway, um, been at Natatmo since April this year, joined as Chief Operating Officer. It's uh, a high definition smartphone enabled uh, home camera. Uh, what's completely unique about it is that it's launched with a face recognition capability that no other camera has got. So rather than just seeing hours of potentially useless footage from your property uh, or just getting motion sensors, you're now going to get a notification to your smartphone with this product that says, okay, your son's home, your daughter's home, your mum's home, your babysitter's arrived. So you get specific, tailored, customised notifications that tell you specifically who's at your home and who's not. Also, is it will tell you when someone is seen who you don't know. So if there's a stranger in your home, if a face is recognised that can't be matched to a, a profile of someone in your family, then the camera will send you a push notification straight away to say, look, I've seen a stranger, what do you want me to do? People in the security industry and people in the camera industry who charge you subscription fees for accessing your data, which I think is a pretty bankrupt model. So we wanted to avoid that completely by making sure that all the face recognition, all the data storage was going on, not on the cloud, but on an SD card, a micro SD card in the back of the camera, so that you own your content, your content is yours to look after, it's secure, it's in your home, on your device, we don't handle it and we don't charge you for accessing it. Connected Home, obviously we, we exist in the Connected Home space, we've got various products um, in, the, in the Connected Home area. Face recognition is something that other people have looked at for quite a long time. So there are some big guys spending a lot of money on trying to refine face recognition. Google is an obvious one. Facebook is another one. Uh, in both of those cases, what those guys are trying to do is to fit face recognition into their core business model. What we're doing is really quite different because we're not focusing on still imagery, we're focusing on face recognition from streaming HD camera footage. So uh, 24 images per second frame rate, all of that image is, most of those images tend to be blurred because people are moving. We've developed internally a proprietary algorithm that enables us, or enables our camera, to recognize individual faces, put a name to a face from, from moving images. It, you know, it's fiercely complicated technology, but that's no use to anybody. Uh, you know, it needs to work, it needs to have simple user benefits so to enable people to understand when their kids are home from school, to enable working parents to know when their kids have got home from sports classes. It's got to have sensible, practical benefits like that for everyone, but it's got to be delivered in a package that's easy to set up, easy to use, uh, and I hope that's what we've done.